Well, I know the secret to getting anything you want in life. But before I share it with you, let's talk about why we don't get what we want. We all have fear. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear, fear of not being good enough. But all of those things stem from one core place, and that's self-doubt. Self-doubt is why we get a crappy job. It's why we don't get the body we want or make the money we deserve and stay in relationships much longer than we know we should. Self-doubt is why we never change and we don't take action. So then, what is self-doubt? Self-doubt is a story we tell ourselves that we can't do something and that it's not possible. How we'll get rejected and fail. Which is why it's oftentimes smart people often fail. When you're really smart, you're really good at pre predicting all the possible negative outcomes. So you never take action. That's why it's my belief that boldness is a stronger indicator of success than intelligence. Smart people think of all the negative things that will happen when things go wrong. But bold people think of all the good things that will happen when things go right. Now, I'm not saying that smart people can't be bold and that bold people can't be smart, but it's boldness that's the secret sauce. Boldness is what puts you on the path to success. So when I was 18 years old, I had a really big dream. I'm from a little small town in Canada called Winnipeg. And my big dream in life was to be a VJ for Much Music. You guys know what that is? That's like MTV for you guys. I knew the job was super competitive. So I knew, I thought to myself, okay, I need to make a killer, killer demo tape. And that demo tape will get me the job. Keanu Reeves was the biggest movie star of all time. And unbeknownst to me, he always wanted to be in Shakespeare, right? And he just finished Speed, the movie, and he thought, what a better time and place than to go to Winnipeg, Manitoba, where it's minus 40, and perform Hamlet. So I thought to myself, that's a great moment. I'm gonna get Keanu Reeves to be on my demo tape for much music, and I'm gonna get my dream job. So I told my family, I told my friends, and of course, everyone just laughed at me. The next day, when I knew he was in town, I went to the theater where he was performing, stood in the back, and waited. Now, 10 minutes turned into 20, 20 turned into 30, 30 turned into over an hour, and now I'm frostbitten. My friend I took with me went home long ago, and yet I was still determined. Five minutes later, there he comes, walking out of the back of the theater. I boldly walk through all the girls and all the media and all the cameras and I tap him on the shoulder and I say, Keanu, you're going to be my ticket to my dream job. And he, of course, looks at me dumbfounded and says, how about I just give you an autograph? And I said, autograph? Why do I want your autograph? That doesn't help me at all. I need you to get me my dream job. So determined. He, of course, tries to blow me off and says, give me your phone number and I will call you when I have a couple minutes. So I grab some girl who I don't know and she had an eyeliner in her purse. I took the eyeliner, I took my gum wrapper in my, in my pocket, wrote my number, I wrote my name and I handed it to him and I ran away. I go to school the next day, I tell my friends, of course tell my family and everyone laughs at me and teases me. Day two, same thing happens, but now more kids know, and now everyone's teasing me like, oh, oh yeah, did Keanu call you? Like, haha, ha, like what a loser you are. Of course, no call. And same thing happened day three. But I go home, on that third day, my mom says, did you hear the answering machine? So then I go press play, and what do I hear? I hear a man's voice saying on the phone with my mom picking up, is Jennifer there? My mother then says, who is this? And 
I hear, this is Keanu calling for Jennifer, is she home? My mother says, she's at school, call back and hangs up on him. So I was like, oh my God, the next message, same thing, but it's Keanu saying, hi, this is Jennifer, this is my phone number. You were saying something to me about something, and I wasn't sure what you were saying, but call me back. I was freaking out, right? Freaking. So once I got my composure, I called him back, explained to him very boldly what I was talking about, and the next thing you know, two days later, he's sitting on my parents' sofa in our living room with my three friends holding amateur camcorders and someone holding a boom hitting him in the face and I had my Oprah moment all right I got that demo tape now look <laughs> now did I get the greatest demo tape of all time you bet I did did I get the job interview at much music I sure did did I get the audition Yes, I did. You're right. You're right. Did I get the job? Hell no, I did not get the job. So why am I even telling you this story? And the reason why I'm telling you this story is that was a very pivotal moment for me in my life. It taught me a real big truth about success, which is, you need to ask for what you want, period. You need to ask. You know that saying, it's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease? It's actually quite true. So when you think to yourself, what does boldness really mean? It basically comes down to this. You chase what you want and you don't take what you can get. The problem is, most of us live on default. We default to what's convenient. We take what's available and we acquiesce to what's in front of us. What I've realized is that there is a really big misconception of what boldness really is. People assume that boldness is something you're either born with or you're not. But that's actually quite not true. That's, quite, that's not quite true. Boldness is a skill like anything else. You need to practice it. You need to harness it to get better and better at it. There is a mindset that I developed and it's called the 10% target. And what that is, is basically very simple. The idea is, that you, whatever you want most in life, you make 10 attempts. The problem is most people don't make 10 attempts. The truth is most people don't even make one attempt. And the purpose of the 10% target is to get very comfortable at failing 90% of the time. Now, I guarantee if you make 10 attempts at anything, one will be successful. Because here's what I know, either one, you'll get the thing you want, or two, you will get something that you never even knew available. What matters is I'm living proof that when you chase what you want and don't just take what you can get, you are exponentially hap more happy and more satisfied with your life.